Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today it is finally time for the final craft room reveal. So at the end, I am going to do a photo slideshow that will show you what the room looked like before when it was my stepdaughter's bedroom here in our house. And then progressing as we got it cleaned out and painted and step by step. So first I got this door sign uh, on Etsy and you could personalize it with your name and whatever else you wanted to say. So I said craft room. I have, this has 3M tape on the back so it won't bang against the door. And then it has a 3M hook. So then I'm gonna go around this way so when you come in, my husband went, uh, we saw these switch plates at Home Depot and he got all of them in here the same. They're like a silver, let me turn the light on. It might make it a little, there we go. Okay. So here right inside the door, this was a bookcase I already had out in our formal dining room because that was where all this stuff used to be. So I have a printer for printing color coloring book pages. And then I have like my scrapbooks and my coloring supplies. I actually bought this bookcase ages ago at Michael's or it was some home store, Walmart maybe. And I covered the shelves with contact paper. And then I love Bath and Body Works candles. So I went on eBay and I actually found that candle pedestal. So I have that. And then if you come over to the closet, which, you know, having everything out in the formal dining room, I didn't have a closet. I just had everything out in the open. So it's awesome to have a closet. I decided I wanted these little knobs and they are at Home Depot. They were like $5 a piece, I think. But when you open up the closet, I have all of my diamond paintings up here one of my stitching stands, and then another stand. I have a bunch of stands. These two baskets have finishing forms that I purchased at Dollar Tree and Michaels to finish cross stitch items on. There are some scrapbook totes right there, uh, a portfolio that I have diamond paintings in. There's various supplies in these drawers for cross stitch. This is all of my Distress Oxide spray inks that I have. And then I have some spray paint, some latex gloves. What I like is not having anything right there so I can literally walk in this closet to reach these diamond paintings. So love, love, love having a closet. So then as we make our way around, this is my diamond painting drafting table. I had, the drafting table used to be black I wound up ripping something off that I had stuck to it. So my husband and I decided to recover this with contact paper. I will link most of the stuff if I can remember down below of what I bought and where I bought it. So this is a really nice lamp for stitching, crafting. It's wonderful and it's actually rechargeable, meaning you don't have to keep it plugged in the whole time, but I do. But yeah, he we covered this and then I bought the foam to protect it. You know, a diamond painting, I, I didn't want this on like a hard surface. So yeah, this has all diamond painting stuff in it. It has some fabric, but diamond painting stuff. Those are my diamonds. I did buy, this is a chair cover that I got on Amazon that I actually really like. This chair normally is a navy blue color and I wanted this room to be more like pinkish teal so I bought the teal seat uh, chair cover I also bought two glass mats for the chairs I love these glass mats I'm even considering getting one for my office unlike the plastic ones that you get these don't dent and you don't slide all around like a crazy person like some people thought when I said I was going to buy these glass mats they're fantastic I absolutely love them so then I have my when I cut fabric for cross stitch or iron it, I have my tools up here. This is a little trash can that my stepmother actually had in her 
uh, office. So I asked her for the link and it's so cute because you just pop the lid up. Oh my God. And I think it was $30 on Amazon. And another chair, this chair is exactly like this chair. I had just bought two of them at the same time years ago and you can't even get this office chair anymore. They're discontinued on Office Depot. But this desk, let me back up. This desk was a Christmas present from my mother. I love it so much. I love the shelves because I can put stuff on them and I still have some open shelves. Um, the lamp actually was from my stepdaughter's bedroom. She didn't want it, so I love it. And I like having just that little bit of light in the room most days. I don't have the overhead light on. This is my organizer cart that I had out there. It has all kinds of supplies in it. It has duct tape and glue and fabric and picture hanging stuff. I have buttons in here. I have trims for finishing cross stitch projects. The bottom drawer is actually empty, but on top is my cordless iron and my glue gun. And Bill actually covered this also with the same contact paper. This was like really messed up, the silver part. So I said, oh, let me have him cover it again. And then I also got these floor plates. I literally like those. Um, Home Depot also. And then I got new curtains. So the curtains are from Amazon. And my husband insisted I make no holes in the walls in here. So my friend Jill gave me an idea of using 3M hooks. These are actually 3M hooks that I just turned sideways to use as curtain tie backs and it works phenomenal. And then when you come around, that is my uh, Ikea cart that I have my Copic markers in. I bought that insert on top from a seller on Etsy. I have stickles, uh, my pencil sharpener, some bow makers, clothespins, just all kinds of supplies. And then the very last thing that we did just this weekend was put together the bookshelf. So this is the bookshelf that I really, really loved and wanted. It has all my Stephen King books on the bottom, which I inherited from Bill's mom when she passed away. Then my junk journals, my Bible and my journal, my sulky threads, my DMC vintage cabinet, which is so fantastic. And then I have that wall decal that Bill and I just put up actually today. So it looks so good. I'm so very pleased with this room. Let me just try to go in a circle really so you can see how everything, and this is just a spare bedroom. I mean, this was my stepdaughter's bedroom in here. So like a normal size room, you know, and I just think it turned out so phenomenal. I have been enjoying getting back into diamond painting and being in this room. So my plan is you see all the walls are bare and that's not me. <laughs> I like stuff on the walls. So as I finish diamond paintings, I really think I'm going to just put diamond paintings in here and it will just look fantastic. So I will put the links down below for the stuff that I bought that is new. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Stay tuned for the photo slideshow at the end.